In order for current to flow in a circuit, we need a power source. There are a few different types of sources, and we've seen a couple already. Um, but first, let's talk about independent sources. Um, they're called independent because the power they supply does not depend on any other voltage or current elsewhere in the circuit. So uh, the first one looks like this. It's an independent DC voltage source. Um, it can be in a vertical or a horizontal orientation. And um, it's going to have a positive and a negative side that tells you kind of where the current originates. So it's going to start at this positive side and then flow in a direction this way. Um, <clears throat> there's, we've also seen this one. This is primarily used for DC sources. This also is biased, so it has a positive and a negative side. And here it is in the horizontal orientation. And some attributes of this, um, they supply a constant preset voltage. The amount of current that comes out sort of depends on what kind of a resistive load this is connected to, but um, the voltage source is going to be constant. Okay, um, the second independent source that we'll talk about at first is the DC current source. And this looks like it has this um, circle again, but this one will have an arrow and that indicates the direction of current flow. Um, this one doesn't have um, a similar DC representation like the voltage source. And actually, we'll probably use the ones with the circle more often than the batteries because these are a little bit more general than um, this. It's usually used for a DC battery. This can be kind of for anything. So I usually use this one that has a plus or minus. So if you see a plus or minus, you know that's a voltage source. If you see an arrow, you know that this is a current source. It's going to supply a constant preset current the amount of voltage that de is delivered depends on the resistive load that's connected to this, and the arrow indicates the direction of current flow, the current flow that's being generated. 